I've always loved travel. It's been my life. But like many of you, I've not been away for a while. But the world's opened up. I've dusted off my passport and I can't wait to get out and about. I'm itching to get on a plane. Bali, the Greek islands, the Seychelles and the Maldives. These are all top destinations, but there's one place on a lot of bucket lists, including mine, the Caribbean. Crystal clear waters, white sandy beaches. <laughs> I've been before for the odd day trip from a cruise, and now I want the full experience. <laughs> we don't have to do that, do we? I'm planning a solo trip to four of the Caribbean's most popular destinations. My own deserted island! And I want you to come with me as I show you the sights and secrets each island has to offer. Well, that's a commute Caribbean style. I have a smell of that. Doesn't that oh, something? wow! Yeah. That smells nothing like we get in the UK. I'll be taken to the high seas in Barbados. You're natural. Thank you very much. I've been on the boat before. Really? Yeah. I'll be visiting Grenada to explore a subterranean wonder. It's like being in another world down there, but fabulous. And we'll be dropping anchor on another island paradise. That's Antigua. I've been that close to a stingray. High five. And high fived it. This time, I'm in St Lucia, where I'll be treating myself to nature's own volcanic hot tub. Yeah, that's it, yes. Hitting the heights and escaping to the tranquility of the treetops. This is real forest bathing. I'll be getting all Club Tropicana with 80s pop legend Pepsi. And enjoying a St. Lucian sundowner. Cheers. As well as losing myself in miles of glittering beaches. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. When you think of St. Lucia, you think of romance, you think of weddings, you think of honeymoons. But I'm going to show you, you don't have to be in a couple to have a great time. Barbados has been a fantastic way to start my island hopping odyssey. But we're off now to the airport to transfer to St Lucia. So, should we go and have another adventure? Here we go! I've had the most amazing time here. Met some wonderful people. I've done yoga on a paddleboard. I've swam with turtles. So there's been lots of things that I've really enjoyed here on Barbados, but it's time to go to St Lucia. Bye bye Barbados. Who'd have thought all my pants and sarongs would weigh so much? The quickest way to get between islands, feel like Beyonce, is an eight-seater plane. Thank you. Now you might be thinking, what's she doing in a private jet? But actually it works out quite cheap uh, when you divide it by eight. So if there's a family of eight or a party of eight, look into a private jet to island hop. Because then you can go when you want, you can leave when you want, um, and, and it just works out. St Lucia is just 45 minutes flight from Barbados and is blessed with temperate weather all year round. Hello, St. Lucia! It's a picturesque 30-minute journey to my hotel, the perfect opportunity to find out about St. Lucia from my driver, Leroy. Wow, it looks beautiful here, Leroy. Yes, it is. That's where it's called St. Lucia, Helen of the West Indies. I like that. It's the only Caribbean island named after a woman. Right, it's the only Caribbean island named after a woman. OK. Well, we should have a good time on here, then. <laughs> I've chosen a hotel renowned for being the largest spa and wellness hotel in the Caribbean. And here's a tip. If you're after a hot holiday, go between May and June, 
when the temperatures are in the high 70s and 80s. Is this mine? Yes, welcome to Villa Aurora. Huh? <laughs> it's a house. I've got petals and everything on my bed. I've got a really big washing up bowl, which is, of course, it's a bath. It's an automatic toilet. Lid's just gone up. Rear soft on off, pulsating, oscillating, front pressure, position, and dryer. What does all that mean? <laughs> Look, I've got a pool. Look at this. Oh, lovely. Oof, that's just perfect. This is the Caribbean to me. This is the blue of the sea. It's, it's much more lush than Barbados was. And look at this pool. In this hotel, they say, if you give us your body, we'll give you back your mind. My mind hasn't spoke to my body for years. So it'd be nice to reunite the two of them. Sat there in my cosy, cup of tea, just looking out to sea. Life does not get any better than that, does it? Most people travel in pairs or groups, but my challenge is to experience these islands solo. St Lucia's ideal, because it's only 27 miles long and 14 wide, and very friendly. A lot of you know that my life has changed now, and I'm, I'm single. And I chose this place because I didn't want to be on a romantic island on my own, uh, looking at couples everywhere. Uh, so this place is very open to singles coming here as well as couples. It's got lots of activities if you want. So it's, it's really up to you whether you have a quiet holiday or a full active holiday. Sometimes you just feel like being on the beach, but other times you think, no, I'm going to have a go at that. And that's why I've picked this. So if you need information, then the hotel information office seems a good place to start. Hello. Good morning, Jane. I'm Vaughan. Pleasure to meet you. Thank How you can very I help much. Today? I would like to go on a couple of trips. I'm wondering if you could advise me. Our West Coast tour on board the resort's very own boat called Tiny. It allows you to go down to the Soufre, which is one of the oldest and most visited parts of the island. I'm going to also book for you an aerial tram experience in the rainforest. That sounds perfect. Oh, Vaughn, thanks ever an, so much. An absolute pleasure serving you today at the body holiday. All right, see you yes. soon. Indeed. Bye. Bye. Vaughn's recommendation for the rainforest trip is perfect for groups and solo travelers like me. So another outfit change and I'm off. The trip starts here in Chassin, at the base of La Saucière Mountain where I'll take a cable car that'll transport me to the remotest parts of the 30-square-mile forest. When you think of St Lucia, you don't think rainforest straight away, do you? You think beach, romance... But actually, there's a huge amount to see in St Lucia, and I'm going to show you. Hi. Hi, hey, good morning. May I have your tickets, please? Yes. I've got my ticket. Okay. Now, where's my gondola? Welcome to the tram line. Yeah. Oh, it's a bit different to trams at home. You will be going a mile and a quarter away into the rainforest. Shh. Immediately, I'm enveloped in the stillness and silence of the forest. Are all the plants native to here? The majority of our plants we like to call naturalized. They have been here for so long mm. that they've become accustomed to the area that they are. And there's a cute hummingbird. Over oh, 300 yeah, species in the world. They are pretty animals, though. They need to actually consume a lot of, of twice their body weight in food per day. Saying that, here in St. Lucia, I'm doing the same. <laughs> nice. <laughs> these are actual Tarzan vines. Tarzan vines, yeah. yeah. You could actually swing on these, but you need to tug on them to make sure they could take your weight. Yeah, well, if he's here, I'm Jane. <laughs> <laughs> You're also in the area where you get the freshest of oxygen, yeah. so... Breathe it in. It de-stresses you. 
I'm, I'm finding that my shoulders are getting lower as the day goes on. And this is the secret of St. Lucia. It just makes you feel better. It's really tranquil and you like you can hear the wind coming through now. And breathe that in. This is real forest bathing. Oh gosh, look at that view. You are actually at your highest point, 120 feet off the ground. You're also 1,400 feet above sea level. My. You know, you just feel like you're flying like a bird. Well, obviously a very slow bird, but you can see everything from a bird's eye view. You've got to admit, this is amazing, isn't it? I could just do it all again. <laughs> it's just beautiful. Come and meet my friend Sam. <laughs> Thank you very much. You can't come to St Lucia and not experience the rainforest tour. If I close my eyes, I'm still in my gondola. After the hot humidity of the rainforest, the breezy beach is calling and I can't wait to get in the sea and enjoy the sound of the waves. Just a little bit of light rain. They call it liquid sunshine. We've got it in Wakefield, but we just call it liquid. Oh, it feels like a bath in here. It's gorgeous. It just, it just cools you down when you need it. The air is very fresh here. And because it rained this morning, and that smell is just so lovely, what a wonderful way to finish my first day in St Lucia. Coming up, I discover St Lucia's wild side. You can see it's a lot more windy here, but that breeze is absolutely gorgeous. And have a date with a hot geezer. Yes, that's it, yes. <laughs> the sun has risen on a new day and I'm having the time of my life here in St Lucia and enjoying new experiences. I've booked trips through my hotel, I've already ventured deep into the remarkable rainforest, and now I'm taking Vaughan's second recommendation, a boat trip to a volcano via a world-renowned beauty spot. It's very handy as the boat sets sail from the hotel jetty, just a short walk from my villa. The boat will take us down the west side of St Lucia, along the Caribbean Sea coast, to our destination at Soufrière. Hiya. Hello. Thank you. Oh my God, it's like Blackpool Funhouse. Yeah. Ah. Hiya. Hello. Oh, this is exciting. <laughs> we look like Spice Girls. <laughs> I'm Jane. Hi, Jane. I'm Laura. Laura. I'm Kate. Kate. Carla. And Carla. Louise. Is this your first time here on St. Lucia? No, no, no. Been several time times. Maybe. Yeah. I think Seven it's my times. eighth time now. It's, it's a place you keep coming back to because you feel so comfortable. Mm. And there's a lot of solo travellers who come here as well. I'm on my own as well. And, and you just think, where is the to go? Yeah. So definitely here. This is yeah. a very unique place. I've yeah. come on my own. Oh, yeah, on yeah. On. And I saw that they did so many activities. So it's been great so far. Oh, great. I can I'm... see why there's lots of repeat visitors. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to be one of them, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm ready. Come on. <laughs> Let's set sail. <laughs> Time waits for no man. Over my years on cruise ships, I've only had day trips to the Caribbean islands, so I've jumped ship and I can't wait to see what there is to discover. If you go into the south of the island, the roads are not good. So this is the best way to travel. And we get on a boat trip. And you know me and a boat, I'm there. And there's no better way to take in St Lucia's most iconic landmarks, Le Gros and Petit Pitons. That's the big and little spikes to you and me. 
They're designated UNESCO World Heritage Sites and are simply stunning. If you've got the legs for it, you can hike up Les Grosse Pitons and they even have an ale named after them. So ladies and gentlemen who's getting wet, don't worry, this is not rain. We call this liquid sunshine. We don't have to do that, do we? And it goes without saying, don't try this at home, kids. Thank you. This is Marigold Bay. It's a famous place for the rain. <laughs> Liquid sunshine, as we call it here. But also, that particular bay is for when all the hurricanes come here and the winter. That's where all the super yachts are parked. So basically, it's a car park for yachts. Lovely though, isn't it? It's raining. It's not long before we reach the old St. Lucian capital of Soufria. But we're not stopping here, oh no. Our guide Marlon is taking us to a much hotter destination, a volcano. So we're driving into a volcano. We're driving into the volcano. So now, the reason we can actually drive into the volcano is that the last eruption nearly 300 years ago blew off the western wall. Right. So this wall would have prevented us from going in there. Yeah. But while you're in the volcano, while you're bathing in the volcano, it's actually water, runoff water from the volcano. And also you have the sulfur mud which you'll be putting on. Right. That's what's really good for the skin. Is it? What does it yes. do? Make you soft? Soft, soft. Oh, I've just got a whiff. Ah, yes, it's, it's refreshing, it's refreshing. Mm. <laughs> so over here we have the crater where you still have um, as much activity as we have here, which is just basically bubbling. There's no lava. Lava is found some thousand meters below the surface, so there's no need to fear. And how, how hot are the springs themselves? Um, upwards 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, wow. Um, so, maybe... so you won't be bathing in those ones then? Uh, no, you will be <laughs> thoroughly boiling. Sorry, right, ladies, who's ready for a mud bath today? Oh, yeah. All right, let's go. That's it then. To the mud. Us girls are ready for an ancient and right mucky beauty treatment. The mud is sulphur, so that is pure sulphur. That's what you're going to be laying onto your skin. Can you do your face as well? Of course, definitely. You can do your face. It's been thought for centuries that sulphurous mud has healing properties for the skin. True or not, it's worth a shot, eh? Right then, shall we right. go in? Yeah. yeah. Right. So take your time. That's really hot. Yes, it is. But you, can, you get used to it as you dip in it. <laughs> there. That's it, yes. <laughs> First step, immerse yourself in the hot water. It's a toasty 38.7 degrees. You see, I'm quite used to this colour because I come from a big family and um, we only had one boiler, it was a little boiler. We didn't have a combi boiler in them days and I had to go last. So actually the colour of the water by the time everybody had got washed is a bit like this, but it wasn't this hot. Next step, cover yourself in mud. Glorious mud. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, a, it's exfoliating. Yeah. Including a spot of Marlon's mud art. Can I, can I have one of those, but a bit lower down? Little <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you want to hear something? She's not the first of us. No. Huh? Finally, it's back in the volcanic water to wash it all off. Your skin just feels lovely. It's a good laugh. It's an experience. And, and that's what life's all about, is making memories with new friends and, uh, and putting mud all over yourself. <laughs> I've had a fab day. And they're just great girls as well. Sometimes you just meet a, a, a group of people who you have a laugh with, and, uh, and I've done that today. So uh, don't be shy, say hello to people, especially when you're on your own. We're all single, we're all ladies on our own, and, uh, and we've had a belting day. I'm still wearing all the mud, but who cares?
I barely showered off the mud before I joined the hotel's evening entertainment, a beach barbecue. I'm on the beach in St Lucia and I'm having a barbecue with a steel band and you can smell all the barbecue cooking and it smells divine. I'm drinking champagne. I'm having a fab time, aren't I? Woohoo! The fish is locally sourced, the vegetables come from the hotel's organic garden and it's all topped off with a Creole dressing. It tastes absolutely delicious. Yes, ladies and gents. I'm just going to look round this way because it sounds like something's happening. OK. <laughs> what a wonderfully chilled evening to end my second day on St Lucia. Cheers. Dawn has risen on my third day here in luscious St Lucia. The locals tell me I should head to Cassambas Beach. Amazing to think a few minutes drive takes you from the sheltered Caribbean side to this, the rugged Atlantic coastline. This side of the island offers something different for the daredevils among us. As you can see, it's a lot more windy here, but that breeze is absolutely gorgeous. And I think this is perfect sunbathing weather because you don't feel the heat as much here. Oh, it's so gorgeous. But it's great for water sports here. You know, like the people going up in those things, you know, speedboats and kites and... See, that's what I mean. Anything to do with wind and it's here. This is more of an activities beach. So there's, there's all sorts going on. There's cricket, there's jeeps flying up and down, there's horse riding. It smells more like the seaside here because we have a lot of seaweed, don't we, in, in the United Kingdom. And it just smells like the seaside here because of all this seaweed. Because on our beach at the other side of the island, it's so manicured and every morning it's raked and it's bulldozed back to beauty. And this is just the beach. This is how it is, naturally. So uh, it's nice to see. And I found just the spot to immerse myself in St Lucia and all her glory. Hello. Hi. Can I have, um... oh, I'll have a piton, please. A piton? Yeah. No problem, my dear. Thank you. No problem. So how are you enjoying the holiday in St Lucia? It's beautiful. Beautiful place, right. isn't it? Yeah. There's Marjorie's. Welcome to Marjorie's place. Marjorie's, yeah. yeah. Marjorie's restaurant and beach bar. Ah. Yes, my dear. Right. <laughs> right. Is this Marjorie? And this is Marjorie. Oh, right here. hi. Marjorie. How are you? I'm oh, good, my love. Can I sit down and have a chat? That's not a problem. Oh. You're welcome. You're looking very glamorous, Marjorie. Thank you. You are. How long have you had this place? Um, about 29 years. Mm. You don't look old enough. Because I'll tell you what, you look gorgeous. Because <laughs> I'm getting on a bit as well, Marjorie, let's be honest. Oh, you know, I'm still drinking beer, though, like I'm young. <laughs> <laughs> you're young. So long you're alive, yeah. you're young. I love that. I'm going to keep that. Yes. This little cabin may be tucked away, but I'm not the first diva to discover it by a long way. I'm so glad I came to this side of the island because it is totally, totally different. But the welcome there was just really real. I think that's the word. This is a place you should definitely come because it's, it's just got something about it. I don't even know what it is, but it feels special. Coming up, I master the ancient art of archery. Excuse me! Look at that! I hook up with 80s pop icon Pepsi from Wham. This is the next duo! <laughs> I can feel it coming on. And learn to drink rum the St Lucian way. That was gonna kick! It's my fourth day staying at my wellness resort on the relaxing island of St Lucia. 
I've slept like a log after my trip to the windswept Cassambas on the Atlantic coast. Perhaps my mind and body are starting to talk, so I'm going to start my day slowly and slip into this refreshing water. Oh, it's a bit of a shock. But once you're in, once you're in, it's fine. Oh, I could do with this every day. For many of us, living in a tropical paradise seems an impossible dream. But for some, that dream's become reality. So I'm about to meet an idol of mine who's made the leap from London to St Lucia and has made a success out of showcasing beautiful sights to tourists like me. I'm off to Rodney Bay, two miles due south of my hotel, but my journey starts here on Rejute Beach because I'm going to see Pepsi from Pepsi and Shirley. You remember them? So I'm going to buy a ticket from this little office here to take a water taxi to her yacht. <gasps> how fab is that? Hi. Hello, how are you? Water taxis are a way of life here on St Lucia so I can get a boat direct to Rodney Bay Marina. Um, that's 15 US round trip. Perfect. There you go. Have fun, Jane. Thank you. Pepsi, she's over here now with her husband, just living the dream. They have a business of uh, yachts to take out. <laughs> and the sunshine came back. The liquid sunshine, that is. When I set off, I look fantastic. <laughs> Heavens have opened and I'm drenched. I'm absolutely drenched. And then, just in time, nature's hairdryer, a.k.a. the sun, comes out. Welcome to St Lucia! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> oh, that's good parking, Dexter. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone can charter a trip on one of Pepsi's boats. If you get lucky, she might even be your tour guide. Thank I'm a you. bit starstruck. I'm a bit starstruck. Oh, wait, <laughs> this is the next duo. <laughs> I can feel it coming on. So is this yours? Yes, it is. Shall we get on? I think so. Come on. Captain O'Brien and Captain. this is Krishna. Oh, nice, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I like it here. <laughs> This traditional wooden vessel was built on the island of Karakou and originally transported produce around the area. Now it takes holidaymakers like me to the must-see St Lucian landmarks in the most relaxing way. We're going to go into Rodney Bay, the pretty bay, and then we're going to pass Pigeon Island. Oh, lovely. It's quite a historical landmark. This 44-acre island is also a nature reserve. So your connection here, what is it? My parents are from St Lucia. I grew up and I was born in London. So this is a homecoming for me. And you've found something that you really want to do. We taught local kids how to sail. Oh, great. Um, and not only how to sail, but we taught them about how to interact with tourists, because this is an island of tourism. Mm. So a lot of our ex-students are on some of the sailboats that actually are on the water. So we're very proud of our crew. Do you miss singing? I miss singing with Shirley. Mm. I do miss my pal. Um, we have, we recently wrote a book about our friendship called It's All in Black and White. Mm. And um, we rediscovered our friendship in a way that it was um, much deeper than we thought. We do miss each other dreadfully. Oh. So I miss you, Cheryl. Wish you were here. <laughs> you should be here, Cheryl. We've been having a right time. You know, Shirley and Martin got married out here, and then a few years ago, they came out and renewed their vows. Oh, how lovely. So they've been out here since I've been here. So what do you think of St Lucia? I'm blown away by it. Fantastic welcome here. And I don't know, it's, it's like a healing. I know Goodness it sounds a bit me. weird. No, sounds that's not weird. weird. Yeah. It's a healing crew. So Lucia's a healing. Yeah, Just, most definitely, it is a healing. Yeah. yeah, man, most natural healing you can find. Yeah. Let's call it, call it a natural mystic, most optimistic healing. 
As we pootle around the beautiful Rodney Bay, as the sun lowers, there's only one thing for it, a sundowner. Oh, thank you, Krishna. You're most welcome. So this is just sales you're saying. Thank you. Thank you. Now, this spice rum is St. Lucian spice rum, and it's I call it Christmas in a bottle. And in St. Lucia, if you don't want a big glass, you say tiquas. Give me, I'd like a tiquas. Oh, yeah. So, do you want a tiquas or a full glass? A tiquas. Tiquas, she's yeah. got it. Nearly every island in the Caribbean makes its own rum. I've already had a taste of Barbados in a bottle. Let's see what St. Lucia has in store for me. Another way to enjoy it is with um, some brownies. Right. Take a bit of cake. Mm hmm Oh, a little bit of rum. Cheers. Cheers! <laughs> Cheers to you too. Right. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah, it's quite it's quite Woo! medicinal actually. <laughs> yeah. That's got a kick. Yeah. I like it, does. it though. With a brownie in one hand and another cheeky tequas in the other, it's been a show-stopping afternoon. But even though the sun's got his daily date with the horizon, I'm in no hurry to get back on dry land. In my short time on St Lucia, I can see exactly why Pepsi was drawn back here. It's been one of the most wonderful, heartwarming experiences I've ever had. I mean, Pepsi was just everything and more that I thought she would be. It was incredible, and the rum helped as well. After a good night's sleep, the rum's worn off, which is just as well, as I'll need a steady hand for my next new experience. So far, Vaughan, at the hotel, has brought me calm in the trees and beautified me in the mud. Now he's fine-tuning my body. It's time for my first ever archery lesson. I've seen Brave, I've seen Robin Hood. How hard can it be? Hi. Hello. Hi, morning. good morning. Are you here for archery? Yes. Is this your first time doing it? Yes. Yes. We have Hugo and Tim joining us. Today. Lovely. So, yeah. so in my hand, I have a recurve bow. Here I have the arrow. So once you put these two together, it becomes a weapon. So you don't want to be pointing it at anybody once you're loading the arrow in. You pull five seconds, five, four, three, two, and release. Okay, you think you're ready for this? Uh, yeah. This is serious stuff. This isn't just having a play around. It's, uh, it's a weapon in my hand. So I'm trying to get my mindset. I'm trying to get in the zone to do this. After all, I've spent the last few days trying to get my body and mind working as one. It's time to put it to the test. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. Yes, I want you to lean towards the target now. Right. Good. Like that. Now, start to pull back, breathe. Take your elbow up. Oh. Up. <laughs> That's okay. It just just breathe, breathe. Pull, elbow up, pull. A little bit more, pull, pull, pull. Now release it. Excuse me! <laughs> Look at that! What? First shot red! Okay, Tim. Tim's a pro. Look at Tim there! Ooh. Feet straight, pull a little bit more. Now go for it. It was a fluke first time. <laughs> Release now. Release. So that was better. So Release. Okay, so okay. back one. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Thank you for coming. All the best. Thanks. Cheers. Now look, the type of shots I like are usually at the bar. Um, this was quite hard and I know I got one in, but my arm's killing, I'll be honest. So I'm going to feel that tomorrow. But have a go. Have improved myself a whiz at archery. I can't wait to see what else St Lucia has in store for me. Coming up, I share a very special moment. I'm useless. And St Lucia shows us her magic. There's a rainbow here on the beach, look. Isn't it sweet, that?
You could spend a lifetime in St Lucia and still find surprises every day. The sights, the food, the people, the entertainment, it's endless and I love it. But all too soon, I wake up on my last day and although this has been a solo trip for me, the island is still a top destination for weddings. So guess what? I'm meeting a lovely couple who have invited me to the renewal of their vows. Oh yes, love is most definitely in the air. And to be honest, I'm a bit of a romantic and I'm nosy. Uh, because I got married in, in the Caribbean. The wedding, I mean, the wedding were lovely. Didn't work out, but hey, can't have everything. And after 17 years of marriage, Neil and Polly have travelled nearly 7,000 miles to do the same, and I'm honoured to be invited to their ceremony. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, what a romantic thing to do. It's been a really good 17 years then. Three good. children. Oh, three children? Busy lives, yeah. Yeah. Right, and what do you do? Uh, I'm an orthopaedic surgeon uh, for the NHS, so uh, we, we've had a busy, busy few months. I was going to say. My wife's a GP and... NHS, both of you then? Both NHS, yeah. Wow. It has been difficult, hasn't it? It's been a tough time in hospitals generally, yeah. I can imagine. Well, you, if anybody deserves this, you do. Thank you very much. I'm a bit of an old romantic. <laughs> I, I am. I love to see a wedding. As long as it's not mine, I'm fine. Leaving Neil on the beach, I'm off to see if I can find the bride-to-be. I'm just going to see Polly now, cos I've met Neil, and I just wanted to wish a good look, really, for the vows. It's lovely. Hang on. Too temporary. Hello! It's nice to meet you too. I've just spoken to Neil. Okay. Well, he's the man that you're going to take your vows with. Excellent. Married 17 years. Yep. So I just wanted to say good luck for the next 17. Thank you. Aww. Thank you so much. That's really kind. All right. I see you're having a drink. Love. Yes, just a little one. Just Study the nerves one. a bit. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Aww. Well, lots of love. Thank you. And we'll see you down there. Yes, I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay. Take care. See you soon, Bye. love. Bye. Bye. To be fair, I think I'm more nervous than she is. You know, it's a big thing, isn't it? Having your vows done again. <sighs> but it's lovely, isn't it? Aren't they a lovely couple? I love it. Oh, I love a good wedding. Neil's asked me to take part in the ceremony, so I really need to hold it together. <gasps> She's coming. I'm useless. That's why I never go to weddings, because I'm always crying. Do you now wish to reaffirm the vows that you took 17 years ago? Yes, Wonderful. Will you continue to have Polly as your wife and continue to live in this marriage with her? I will. And with that, I will invite Jane to do a reading. I shall be honoured. Welcome <laughs> closer, Jane. Don't cram my eyes out over there. <coughs> Love is a temporary madness. It erupts like volcanoes and then subsides. And when it subsides, you have to make a decision. You have to work out whether your roots have so entwined together that it is inconceivable that you should ever part. Because this is what love is. Those that truly love have roots that grow towards each other underground. And when all the pretty blossoms have fallen from their branches, they find that they are one tree and not two. Oh, isn't that lovely? <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Congratulations, Polly. <laughs> thank you. Well done. <laughs> and then, look at this rainbow. There's a rainbow here on the beach, look. Look. Well, isn't that just the icing on the wedding cake? I'm so thrilled for you. Well, do you know, it's been a really long time coming. It's been a pretty tough two years and it's been a really, really special week. Oh, I'm so pleased for you. As soon as you walked around the corner, I were gone. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, this is ridiculous. And you're a beautiful couple and I wish you much, much happiness. Thank you thank very, you very, very much. Thank All you, right. thank you, thank you. Oh, isn't it sweet, that? 
sweet. A little rainbow came out. See, that, that to me is hope, is, well, the rainbow is hope, isn't it? And, uh, and it just came out as they got married. How special. They're walking down the beach now, look, hand in hand, drinking champagne. <laughs> just like I did all them years ago. When I arrived four days ago, I was skeptical about getting my mind and body talking to each other. But as Pepsi and all the other wonderful people I've met have made me realize this really is a healing place. St. Lucia makes you feel great. There's just something about this island that just hugs you and then wets you <laughs> and then hugs you again and then wets you again. But it's like a cleansing thing. The liquid sunshine works. So don't be afraid of the rain because the sun always comes after the rain. And that's what I've learnt here. It's mystical, it's beautiful, and I hope I come back. You know me, I can't leave St Lucia without a song. And this one could have been written for this island paradise. Never mind the rain, it's Here Comes the Sun by the Beatles. Here comes the sun, doo -doo -doo -doo. Here comes the sun, and I say it's all right. Little darling, it's been a long, cold, lonely winter. Little darling, it feels like years oh. since it's been here. <laughs> Next, I'd love you to join me on a trip to the Spice Isle, Grenada. It's like waiting for a bus, isn't it? Where I'll be taking you from wonderful waterfalls to undersea adventures. And for you chocolate lovers... Shuffle through like this. I'll be making me own from bean to bar. Mm. I'll give you the interview. In return, I want you to find the person who killed my husband. Whatever she's told you. It will be lies. She can't expect you to actually find the killer. Brand new drama Deadline starts Tuesday night at 9 here on Channel 5. Next, the lives of the super rich in Monaco.